Oh, you guys know what time it is. Post office time. So if you guys remember, Grant and I, well, Grant has a toolbox and you put stickers all over the lid. So every time we open it up, you see all these cool stickers we have. Well, we bought a booth off Facebook Marketplace from a local restaurant that was getting rid of it. And we have decided that instead of just filling up our toolbox lids with stickers, we are going to plaster all of this with cool stickers. So if you feel it in your hearts that you have some cool stickers in your collection that you don't um, really have a use for, um, or your brand has a cool sticker, send it to my P.O. box, which is in the description, and we'll put it on our booth. We are in Grant's shop this morning. So we've got the 8345R series in here. It's a little muddy. Um, that is because over the past week and a half, we've gotten over nine inches of rain. It's just been a slow, steady rain. Just keeps coming. So don't mind that she's a little dirty. Um, this is Grant's planting tractor. So we have his planter hooked on here. Um, this is the Maximerge XP1720. This is not a high speed planter. Um, and so uh, they were just getting it ready, prepped for planting, coming up here in a few, few weeks once the ground dries out. So today we are going to be working with these chains here. So uh, the chains turn this little bar here and that tells the planter how fast to drop seeds by how fast the planter is going, how fast these chains are turning. The only problem with this design is that the chain down here has fallen off. And that's the one that we're putting back on. I don't really know. Grant, why, why did this chain fall off? Uh, we don't really know. It happens like three or four times every planting season. We just, stalks or stumps get thrown up in there and they just pop off. And there's two of them, one on both sides. So it always, it they keep spinning. But like, it's just kind of a pain. So it has okay. chains on every year. Gotcha. So we're gonna put some new chains on. Everyone always seems to hate what a sugary breakfast I have, but. <laughs> I thought I'd tell you what I'm having this morning. This is my second wild berry flavored toaster strudel. It, you could not get more sugary than this. It's sugary filling that kind of tastes like fruit and then it's got frosting on it. Mm. Okay, where is it coming from? Grant's on the other side. I'm just gonna try and reach through. Oh, I got it. And set it on. I have to pull it, it won't. Go. Oh, there we go. I got it. Okay, so I'm pulling this. Look at that. Right. See the wheel turning it? Okay. Oh, Grant wanted me to mention that this chain also runs uh, the rate that they put fertilizer on as well. Now he's gonna just guide it through down here to me. For everyone concerned about our safety working under this bar held up by hydraulics, we have taken proper safety precautions. Don't worry. <laughs> All right, how do you link these together, Grant? With the master link. The master link. Yeah. So it slides on and then the sides clip on, right? Uh -huh. With this little clip. Yeah. And there's a... Oh. Hmm. oh, we gotta redo it? Well, we missed the sprocket. So this is how loose this is? That's not good. <laughs> redo it. Yeah. <laughs> Grant and I have conducted some very careful research by... Uh, just looking at the other side, and I think we've determined what we need to do. Grant, take the master link off and I'll keep eating breakfast, okay? Okay. <laughs> Oh. 
<laughs> we have come are, to are your gloves a little big there? We've come to the conclusion that my hands are just so small. <laughs> <laughs> these are like size small medium. Those are these are extra large. Oh, are you serious? Okay, yeah. that makes me feel a little bit better. They're baggy. <laughs> this is why these skin tight. And so I'm trying to put this stupid little thing on. When I hold it, it disappears in my hand. Let's see it try. Okay, so this one's the master link. Can you see it? Yeah. Can you can you see it? Look, oh, there it yeah. is. And now I'm gonna slide it on. Okay, well you're um, use where's, pliers. Where's my pliers? That's better. Lose the gloves. Yeah. I can actually see what I am doing. I can actually hold on to it. <laughs> Little do you guys know, through that just quick little edit of magicness. I just put my little magic to I I didn't even look at it. I did it one handed and I just Master of the Master Link. Yeah, I did that. Alright, now we gotta do another side. Yeah. Okay, I'll get better. Yeah, okay, so now you're on the other side. Because we replaced the chain on the other side, this chain isn't lost, but I figure we might as well just put a new one on now. So, we are looking for the master link right now. And they all. Oh, oh wait, no. Oh, wait, you got it? Uh, what is that? Oh, it's missing. It's missing. Oh, and this one's almost falling off. Well, it's a good thing we're replacing this chain. Nice. Wow, good eye. Thank you. Grant and I have had a revelation. <laughs> so on this chain, we just caught the master link little clippy had fallen off. So perhaps that is why the chains have been falling off, not stocks are hitting them. A thought. Okay, this time I, I actually got it on myself. <laughs> Wait, are you saying that you didn't actually oh, get it on the last I mean... time? <laughs> Pretty nice, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. New chains are on the planet. Ready, Ready to go. go. Is there anything else that needs to be done to this planter? Yes, there's one other thing. What? Um, we need to unstick a closing the packing wheel. Oh. You want to do that quick? No? Okay, I just have to say... Um, the trip that Grant, the dirt bike trip that Grant and I just took was my first trip with the 230 here. Got my Laura Farm sticker on it. And she did such a good job. I've been riding the 400 here, which is only kickstart. And that's all fine and dandy until I fall over and I looped my bike a few times. And having the electric start on this thing was so nice. Anyways, it was a good trip. So I don't have anything in blue, but... I do have this nice red Laura Farms tumbler that matches Grant's three-wheeler collection here. She's pretty proud of it. And the cup, it just kind of fits in nicely. LauraFarms.com. Yeah, it's a little loose. <laughs> <laughs> you got to hold it on. <laughs> okay, wait. Okay, so this is the packing wheel on the... Oh my just gotta show you. Hey, we're gonna have to hold that might be a two-handed operation. Yeah, I know. Come I've gotta do a total reset. It's been a year since we've been in the planter. Whole year. Okay, yeah. This scrapes the trash away. This cuts our furrow. And then underneath here, the seed drops in. And here's our packing wheels and closing discs. So on the packing wheel, here it attaches right here. These are such a pain to put on. Here, yeah, there's this they're supposed to move. They're supposed to move like that. This, this one, one, this one didn't move. Didn't move. So we know something's wrong. So I'm going to use this very tight operation to try and unpack this. And it is going. It is. It's going the right way. Lefty Lucy. L. Scared. This can make a really big noise. Yep. Probably go everywhere. Just do it. I do not think I can do this. I will. I will let go. I will not hold it. I am very too scared from this thing. Oh. Okay. I won't. I won't hold it. Can we do it for you? Yes. <laughs> Did it just you, come you off? You almost got it. You were almost there. Okay. Mm. Got some shoe in there. Shmood. Grant, I liked it. Okay, we're working here, but you just what was in there? Oh, I think the, this thing might be ruined. Cool. 
I'm just, I just can't stop looking at your RC collection. Oh, here. yeah. A little charging. Don't mind the RC cars. <laughs> this is a very serious work environment here. <laughs> there is no fun to be had. Work only. Just work. <laughs> This video segment's gonna be called Grant's Farm Hacks. I didn't have a oil filter wrench for some reason. I don't know where it went, so I made one. It looks just like the ones you can buy, but I made it myself. Just take a dirt bike chain piece and a vice grip. You just fit it right on there and hopefully it comes off. So look at that. I'm sure someone's probably done this before, but this is revolutionary to me. And then once you get it loose, you get yourself a big cup. So when oil starts running down, it catches it all. I guess oil won't run down. Oh, there it is. Look at that. Anyway, to help you keep your shop floor nice and clean. Also, make sure you get your little O-ring off. Sometimes it sticks. It doesn't go with the filter. If you leave that on, put the new filter on, you'll make a mess. Right, stay tuned for more farm hacks. All right, back to Laura. I haven't even tied my shoelaces yet this morning and we're already done working on something. So I'm done with the planter, and now I'm gonna go to Dad's shop and work on whatever he has going on. Probably more shop projects. I don't think we have really anything going on outside. Um, but I am, I'm wearing my track gear, because I get to be track coach this afternoon. I like film my life, all sorts of things. So after I'm done in Dad's shop, then I'm gonna go coach track meet. I appreciate you guys watching. I hope you learned something about our planter. Grant is always wanting me to ask people to subscribe. I just don't like doing that. But if you find it in the kindness of your hearts, if you think I am entertaining maybe even 10%, subscribe, please.